Now that we set up our login method to log users in, let's set up our register method so we create new employers. So the first thing we'll do is go into the service we created in the last video and create a register method. And then we'll go inject our service into the uh, register component. And then we'll call the new register method from the component and create a new employer. So like usual, I have a bunch of links down in the description. One of them is gonna be about the HTTP headers. And we'll be checking that out later in the video. So let's go into the uh, service and create our brand new register method. Let's open up our auth service and we'll create our new register method like right under the login method. So register. And then like we did above, we're gonna be passing in some information uh, from our form or actually from our component uh, and then close it up. And then we're gonna be doing similar to what we did right here. So I'm just gonna copy this. We're gonna be returning observable and we're gonna be using the post. So paste that here and make sure we close that up right. But the difference now is like here we passed in two parameters and what we're gonna be doing now is passing in three parameters and the third parameters is gonna be our headers. And uh, let's just uh, work on this first. We'll set up our URL and our URL is gonna be different. Uh, we're using the employers one now, not the auth. So I'll, I'll just set up another variable up here and call it employers URL. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this from Postman uh, so I don't spell it wrong. So I already got that open here in Postman. And here is the API that we're gonna be using to create new employers. So just copy this and we go back to here and just paste it in here. And then I'm gonna cut this out and we'll add this within the register uh, method here. So let's set up our first parameter and that will be this employer URL and then add on uh, create. So just paste this. So we got our first parameter done. Now let's set up our second one and that's gonna be our models. And then our third parameter is gonna be our headers. And as you can see, that is right here. And they show you how to uh, set that up right here, but let's go and check that out on the browser. So if we go in the browser and here is the Angular HTTP headers. And this basically comes from the same family, like the common HTTP family. And if we go back here, uh, back to the editor, and up here, we're using the HTTP client. So now we're gonna be adding on to this and be using the HTTP headers. So to use that, if we go back here, we need to create a new instance of this, and then we'll pass in a object setting up our headers. So let's, let's do that next. So if we go back here, and I'm gonna do that right at the top of this register method. And I'll, I'll set this to a, a variable called headers, I guess. And that'd be equal new HTTP headers. There it is. And then in here, we're gonna be passing in an object. And then that should have been pulled in at the top if we go up here, and there it is. So it just added it in there. So uh, now this is very important that we spell this correctly. And this is key value pairs. So the key is if we go open up our employer controller, we're gonna uh, copy and paste this so we don't spell this wrong. So open up the employer's controller. Then within the create method, this is what's gonna be creating our employer. Then down here, we're passing something into the headers right here. And it's called confirm email URL. So I'm gonna copy this so I don't spell it wrong. And what this is uh, doing is this is who's gonna be handling our email confirmation. We're actually gonna be creating that in the next video. But um, it's important that we have something in here that this is not null or we'll get an, an exception right here. So just uh, copy this again, and we'll go back to our uh, service and paste that right here. So our key is done. Now our value is gonna be the address or whoever's handling the email confirmation. And right now this part doesn't matter because we're gonna uh, finish this up in the next video. But let's create a variable right here. And I'll actually, I'll paste it in here again. So that would be a perfect variable name. And I'm just gonna put in like test.com. Okay, that's perfect. And then that is what we'll pass in here. So that's gonna be our value. So it's gonna be a confirm email. Okay. So now that that is done, we're gonna put this inside of an object. So I'm gonna create another variable. I'll just call this options. So options, and this is gonna be another object. 
and the property name is headers and then we're going to be using this variable that we created okay and this is our third parameter that we're passing into our post so we're including our headers here and that's all we need to do we don't need to use the pipe or anything like we did here okay so we set up our auth service now we're ready to, to use this inside of our register component so our register method is all set up in our service now let's inject our service into the register component and then we can uh, call our new register method and see if we can create users so this is very similar to the login method or the actually the login component we created in the last video and uh, we'll just copy and paste out of there just to save some time and then we'll make our call and make sure our register method is working let's go back to our project and then uh, we can close these down and then open up our auth and inside of our components open up the register component so this is where we're making our call to our service so like we did before in our login method we're going to inject it into our constructor the uh, service so let's open up our login component we'll just copy and paste and then right here we're using our auth service we're injecting it copy this jump back to our register component and paste it and let's pull in our auth service from services okay so that is set up we are injecting it now now we need to set up our on submit method and again that is exactly we're close to this so i'm just going to copy all this so now we're subscribing to it uh, when we get the result back from our service go over here whoops go over here and paste it in here and then i'm just going to change around the names like uh, it's it's going to be register now copy this and replace this and instead of the login method it's going to be the register method and then i'm going to change this to user created and again we're, we're going to be changing this up later we're going to have a nice way to, to give users feedback later on uh, this is just for testing purposes okay so we set up our component let's save this here's our register form and we're ready to log our information to the console and also let's check out the database so here is our database we currently have one user in it to test by that's what we've been using so we'll create another user and we'll just give it a fake email for now we're not wor worried about confirming emails or anything like that so i'll just give it a fake email and uh so let's let's go and create our account so if we go here and we'll call it test and then it's going to be at test dot com dot com and a really good password one two three four and let's see if this works okay so we successfully uh, created an account let's go back here and refresh this and there's our brand new account and then let's send that in one more time to see if we get an error error because we're not allowed to have duplicate usernames or or emails so let's send that in one more time and now we're getting an error and if we open up this here's our errors array uh, right here and then we're getting a duplicate username and a duplicate email so that's exactly what we want okay so now that we're able to create new users let's go and uh, confirm their email so we'll set that up in the next video so i'll see you then